So I'm just gonna recall all that three to make sure you understand what I'm trying to say. So number one is your tax record. Make sure you... <laughs> What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista and welcome to Fit Hustler TV. Today I'm gonna talk about the three simple ways or three important things that you need to know before applying for a mortgage especially if you are a first-time home buyer and it's gonna be your primary home. So make sure you stay tuned from now until the end I will explain you what I experienced in the past when I am applying for my first home ever. But before I start this video if you're new to this channel welcome if you haven't subscribed please subscribe it will help my channel grow and give me some motivation to make some more video if i see like subscriber coming up and also if you found this value please thumbs up this video i will appreciate that and also share this video for those family friends who's looking to buy a primary home or looking to buy their house please share this video you know sharing is scary all right so without further ado let's jump into it before i start anything i just want to say or i'm going to tell you my current situation so if you watch my last video or my previous video i just told you like i just moved here in united states i am from united kingdom basically i moved in united kingdom when i was 18 and i lived there for 15 years all right so from 15 years i just moved here in the united states about three months ago which is november 2021 and now is january 2022 basically i've been here for only three months all right so that's my current situation if you are wondering why i moved here in the united states it's because of my wife all right i got married to my wife I just don't want to include my personal life here but I got married 2020 January and then my papers been processed took at least a year and a half or almost two years and then my paper has been delayed due to COVID reasons so what happened was I couldn't move here early I just managed to move here last November 2021 so are we good so let's move on when I was applying for a mortgage between me and my wife we reached to Realtor or real estate agents which is my good friend of mine and then he referred us or he referred me to broker and then the broker helped us and then this is what they told us they gave us the three important things that we need to know before applying for a mortgage which i'm going to share with you right now so number one that you need to know is make sure that you are paying like for at least two years tax record all right so what do you mean by two years tax record if you are applying for a mortgage here in united states you need to have at least two years tax record and make sure that you are currently employed or maybe self-employed if you're self-employed or if you're a business owner make sure you're doing the same stuff same work for at least Two years you need to show them that you are doing it by showing your tax record if you are applying for tax return make sure you show them first that you are you know paying tax for at least two years that's the minimum all right that's the number one that you need to know for my experience i've not been here for two years i've been here for three months so basically that's a down for us so we have to wait for at least two years basically it's not two years now so a year and nine months right nine ten eleven twelve because i've been here three months so makes sense right so we have to wait for a year and nine months before i can apply for mortgage because i have to show them like my u.s tax record that i've been doing i've been here in the united states i've been paying for my tax for two years right so that's the number one remember that one that's the most important second is your credit score credit score is very huge when applying for a mortgage that's the broker told us it's just because like credit score is the proof that you can pay your debt on time all right that's as simple as it is so make sure that if you have a debt make sure you pay them first or maybe if you have a debt and then you know let's say i have a debt like i have a car debt i'm paying for it like for 200 bucks a month and other than that i don't have anything right so for that instance maybe they will run your record or your credit record and then if they found like you know you are qualified for the credit score that's a good stuff you know it's a thumbs up for that one but the minimum that they told us like you know if you're gonna apply for a mortgage is at least 680 on the points if you can get like 680 and above or let's say 700 so far my credit score let me just show you my credit score is 700 
700. I'll show you now. So my credit score is 700 right now and my wife credit score is I believe is about 750. Our credit score is quite good at the moment but the thing is though since I've been here for a few months not long ago my credit score is not that high and I currently ha only have like two credit cards. I apply for credit cards so far I have been approved for two of them and I keep using them to make sure you know to run my credits during my stay here or you know during the time that I applied for my credit card. So I will give you one tip if you are using your credit card as a payment because that's a number one rule you know to get your credit score rating go up you need to keep spending your credit card and then you know you need to keep paying your credit card you know whatever you use for that credit right so makes sense. So I'll give you one tip what I am doing right now you know if I'm spending some money on my credit card and then make sure that I'm paying them on time that's the number one rule to get your credit up so make sure that if you're gonna spend your credit card let's say you use your credit card for food shopping that's what I normally use for my food shopping on my credit card make sure you pay them up straight away there's a like a pending time for the credit to clear and sometimes they are like three to five business days as soon as three to five business day cleared straight away pay them off but if you can't pay them off what you need to do here's another one trick that i do or i did was i put them like automatic payment right now my credit card is on chase and if you want to apply for a chase credit card i will put some link down below i believe like you will get a hundred dollars for your first credit and also i will get it for me so both win-win so make sure you use my credit code or credit link from the chase if you can apply for credit card and so both of us can have hundred dollars each win-win right so don't forget that one. what i did was i put automatic payment every 26 of the month what happened is like every time i spend my credit card if i forget them to pay after i use them because i am so busy every 26 of the month make sure that i will pay them off not just the partial make sure that you put them on your app pay full amount of your credit so it means like you're gonna pay all the amount that you use during those period of time let's say the cutoff credit card is on the 27 so from 27 and before the 26th of the month whatever you use from the credit card they will pay off straight away so you don't have to worry like if you miss some payment you know your credit score going down and you know if you're so busy you forgot to pay your whatever you use for your credit card so the automatic payment will do it for you and it, your life gonna be easier than ever you think of right makes sense right so you do it that way or if you don't you just as soon as you pay something from your credit credit card you just pay them wait them for three to five days and you do it manually that's completely fine as long as you pay whatever you use for your credit card that's the most important thing and make sure whatever you purchase from your credit card you can pay them don't be like gonna purchase like a television or a iMac and you know and you said like I want this but you know I don't have money to pay for it I'm gonna use my credit card so what you're gonna do is like you're just gonna purchase it and then you say like i'll just wait for a year two years or three years before i pay them off i mean you can do that but you know your credit score will pull it if you're not gonna pay it on time basically they have like cut off make sure you get your payment on time otherwise you know credit score will pull you down so remember that one so last but not the least is your down payment if you are a fha buyer or a first time home buyer you are entitled to fha loan so fha loan means like you can get as low as three and a half or 3.5 for down payment for a house or for a property let's say the property you're looking for is 200,000 so 200,000 of let's say three and a half or 3.5 of 200,000 is seven grand or seven thousand dollars right so all you need to do is to have like at least seven grand or seven thousand dollars to have a down payment for that property or if you want to do conventionally they have they call it like conventional loan so if you're gonna do conventional loan I believe correct me if I'm wrong the minimum payment for conventional loan is five percent you know here in Florida that's what I researched or what you told me from our broker basically if you have five percent for down payment you know go for conventional loan five percent of two hundred thousand is ten grand so let's say if you have like ten thousand dollars go for it pay for that first first how using conventional loan the good thing for conventional loan is you don't have to pay PMI that PMI I'm not gonna talk about the PMI today because you know that's different story maybe different video I will make another video on that one in the future video so make sure you subscribe so every time i upload a new video you are the one gonna watch my first video as long as you click that notification button you know the bell button ding ding ding
Mexico and I will email you straight away that my video is live. That's the two things. Either you can do like FHA loan or conventional loan. But for my suggestion, you know, do whatever suits you because sometimes you have like a larger down payment. I will go for conventional so that your monthly payment is not that high compared to low down payment and then your monthly payment is gonna be a little bit higher compared to higher down payment, right? Basically, if you have like three and a half or 3.5% down payment for 200,000 house or property, obviously, you know, you have to calculate how long is your mortgage and then they will give you your monthly payment. Make sure that you can do that way so that you can budget your monthly payment and you know, you will not gonna be struggle for your payment every month for your mortgage, all right? So makes sense. So I'm just gonna recall all that three to make sure you understand what I'm trying to say. So number one is your tax record. Make sure you show them your tax history for at least two years. If you're gonna have a career, make sure you stay on your career. For example, if you are a nurse, you stay a nurse for at least two years. Don't change your career until you get your mortgage first. And then if you're planning to change your career, once you get your mortgage, that's fine because you know, you're already on the mortgage. That's the number one. Second is your credit score. Make sure your credit score is on top make sure that it is like in good credit score rating otherwise you know that will pull you down for your applying for a mortgage lastly but not the least is your down payment minimum down payment if you can have like three 0.5% of whatever purchase that you're gonna get, that's the minimum at least. $200,000 a house, 3.5% 3, 3 is seven grand, or 5% is 10 grand for conventional for the minimum, all right? So this is the video for today. I hope this video is helpful. If you found this helpful, I will say it again, smash that like button for me. I will appreciate that. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I will appreciate that as well. And also share this video if you found this helpful and value. As you know, sharing is good. All right. Thank you so much again for watching this video from the start until this end, watching me talking too much. Until next time, I'll see you on the other side. And always remember, stay hungry. <clears throat> paying your down payment. What paying down payment? No. Um, uh, no, number one is... Uh, do it again. Uh,